Okay, right. Welcome. Louisa here from hallaboutstamping.co.uk. And today I'm going to show you how um, to make a box. Um, just wait for people to arrive if you can to be here. Um, so I've got... Um, this is just something random that I chose. <laughs> so, and it actually nearly fits in um, my two by one by three box that I did a few weeks ago, I think it was. Um, but I'm going to start from scratch anyway. So I use my grid paper. And yes, it makes a fantastic surface to stamp on, but I'm just made, just moving it up so that you will hopefully be able to see the bottom of it. So I'm going to shove that over there. Push that over there, and I might see if I can see comments. Hi. Comment if you are there and say hi. So welcome, everybody. Um, so yeah, as I say, I use my grid paper for planning out my boxes. So I this would work blah, 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 work for metric or imperial. I'm going to do metric. So grab whatever it is. It doesn't matter. It can be that. It can be a votive candle. Um, it can be a candle candle. That might be a bit big. I'm going to do. There are many different ways of making a box. I'm going to do one where you kind of, where you wrap it round. So obviously you are going to be limited slightly in the size if you're going to do it that way. So I should be okay with this one. So basically I'm going to measure it. So I'm going to call that, hopefully you can see that. Uh, hopefully you can see where I'm going to shove it up much further than definitely surely you can be able to see it. Hi Gillian, nice to see you. I hope you're enjoying your summer holiday <laughs> and that you haven't been washed away. Um, so yeah, I'm going to measure it across. So I'm going to call that two. So I'm going to put two inches up here and then I'm going to measure the width or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to call that... I am going to call that an inch because I'm worried slightly. It's just because it's just on that three quarter inch. I'm worried it's going to be a bit tight. So I'm going to call that an inch plus an inch. So I'm going to go two, then plus an inch, but then I need another two inches to go the other way. So I'm going to plus another two. And then obviously I need another one for that side. And then I like half an inch for gluing. So plus another half an inch. If, because we are in the um, UK, obviously we use um, A4 cardstock. So if yours, which is only eight and a quarter, so if you get to eight, you're only going to get a quarter of an inch tab, but that's fine. So then I will go, I'll plan it on here. So I will mark off one and then another two, which is three, another one, which is four, another two, which is six, and then half of the tab, six and a half. So I know to wrap around that way, I'm going to have to cut it six and a half. Okay. So then I'm going to me measure this way. No, I'm not. So I'm going to measure that way. Oof. So I'm going to call that three. I probably should have done this in metric rather than imperial. So I'm going to call that three. So this is to go around that way. I'm now going to do the one to go that way. So it has to be at least three inches, right? to fit that bit, but we also need a flap to go around the bottom, if that makes sense. So, 
put that there, it's going to have to be... I'm going to have to think now. <laughs> Brain engage. So we're going to have to be at least one inch this way. So I'm going to have to have at least one inch. Now, this is not going to be for one that tucks in. So if you want it fold flat like this one at the top, you'll have to add a flap, if that makes sense. So I've got one inch there. So I've determined that it's three inches, so I'm going to have to have four inches. So my lines here are score lines, by the way. So they're going to be score lines there. Okay. So this is going to be the bottom. Okay, and then for simplicity, I'm going to add another inch on the top, at the very least, okay? Um, because it's an inch that way. So I'm probably totally off screen. This is an inch that way, so I'm going to have to have at least an inch across the top. Now, obviously, if it's going to be fold flat, you'll add whatever you want extra i normally go about half an inch something like that um so then that will be five and a half so so are we well worth i want a piece of cardstock six and a half if i, if I can grab i'm gonna grab a sheet of paper then i can have it by my side when i'm gonna score and I'm gonna use, I'm using our lovely ink colours. Yay! So piece of cardstock. I will need it six and a half by five and a half. Okay? And then for scoring, so I'm gonna score on the long side first. So I'm gonna score on the six and a half. So I'm going to score at one, three, four, and six. So one, three, four, and six. Okay? And then for the short side, I'm going to score at one, four. And this is why my grid paper is so helpful. Um, five... And five and a half. Okay. So you should have four score lines. Uh, yeah, four score lines. Right, let's get to cutting. So I'm going to grab my trimmer. I can nudge that back down now that I've, <laughs> that I've done that. So cutter. And I'm using contraband because my stamping up cutter... We don't do it anymore. We don't have any blades. And I'm on the last blade. And I don't think I have any in stock. And the blade that I'm using at the moment has totally given up the ghost. So, let's do purple paisley. Oh, and I'll show you how I cut the mats as well. Um, so, five and a half. Which just so happens... That you can get two of these out of a sheet of cardstock, which is why I didn't do it totally fold flat. I seem to remember. And then six and a half. So so that is that for the card base. And then because it's two by three. For the DSP, so for the DSP for layers, I will cut two, one and three quarters, because I know that bit there is two, and I know this bit here is three. I'm hoping this is all making sense. So one and three quarters, because I've just taken a, a quarter of an inch off which I like, by two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. 
but I need two of those because I need one for there and one for this bit. So this is called, I'm going to make that a bit more of a, a very wonky, <laughs> and we actually call this a net, if you want to be really technical. So I need two of those, um, one and three quarter by two and three quarter. And make sure your pattern is going the right way. And then for here, because that's one, I know this, the height's going to be the same, so I know that's two and three quarters. And it's one, so it's going to be three quarters. So I need that one for over there as well. So I'm going to whack off. I'm going to do the two and three quarters first, right? Because I know that I need two of those. So I'm going to go for that one. I think, what do I want to go for check? Oh no, I like that. I'm going to go for that one. Whoop, clunk. So let's just see. So to me, that looks the right way. I don't know whether it is. So I'm going to whack that off at two and three quarters. Because I know all four pieces are going to be the same height. So, it's got a mucky trimmer. And then, so yeah, so then I'm going to go three quarters. And this is a bit tricky. I could probably do it from that side, but anyway. So that's one bit, that's going to sit in there, make a kick. And that's going to sit there. So I've got quite a decent border, you can faff around and have um, as much border as you want. If you're being really clever, you'd have cut it so it pattern flows. I clearly am not that clever today. Oh, and I'm also about to cut it too short. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean two and three quarters. I meant one and three. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I've muddled myself up now. Yeah, one and three quarters. I'm about to cut square. I don't want to cut square. <laughs> it's not square shaped. So then that's going to fit in there. Right. It's not helpful when in when I get it wrong. I think it's Dippy Demi. Dippy Demi. I'm still on holiday mode, I think. I think we go back in a couple of weeks. So I better get out of holiday mode. <laughs> so much for the not summer that we've had. And now I've totally lost my school tool. Ooh. Oh no. Well, I'll have to use that. I'll have to find that. Right, so, score tool, best buddy, if you're making boxes, and hopefully we are in the screen. So, I'm going to use my bone folder, not, so, six and a half up, score it at one, three, four, and six, and then you're going to turn it. And score it at one, four. Oh, <laughs> I put well, date scores at four and a half. That's the end of the paper. Duh. Okay. So there we go. And then we're going to burnish and fold. And I love purple posy. And I need to go and pick up my markers because I wasn't here when they delivered it. So I need to go and pick them up. But you think given it was markers, it would have fit through the letterbox. But there you go. <laughs> so I'm just going to fold and burnish these. Easy peasy. I'm going to mark where my back of the box is. So, 
that's the back of the box. So I want to keep this bit and these two flats, but I want to get rid of this bit here. So I want to get rid of that bit. Okay, and then I want to get rid of that tab and that tab, and then I want to ever so slightly notch those out. Okay, but I want to keep this bit here straight. And then I want to get rid of, well, I want to notch this bit, get rid of all that, notch this bit, get rid of all that, and then we're going to cut up these score lines here. So hopefully that will make sense. And hopefully I might actually have a pair of scissors. Right, so first of all, I'm going to get rid of these skinny bits here. And I will put this down flat so you can see it. And a good long pair of scissors will be your friend. And these are contraband because they're not made by stamping up. There are very few things in my craft room that are not stamping up. That happens to be one of them. Okay. So I've cut straight up there, by the way, but I've cut out the... I don't know if you can see that. I've cut out, I've cut away that score line. So I'm going to cut up. So again, I've cut up there and I'm going to notch that out ever so slightly. And then notch that. Um, because I'm going to cut that bit away, I don't need to cut it straight. I just need to notch it out. Oh, and I've notched that a bit, cut that a bit far. Oops, never mind. And then I'm going to notch that. Oh, got a wonky paper. Wonky paper. And then I'm going to whack a bit off. Not but really bothered how much and then I'm going to cut up these score lines here and then before I put the box together I'm going to put the DSP on it okay and I realise I've run out of snail so I'm going to pick up more. so my piece of DSP that I've cut they're going to sit here. Now, on the original, I did put one on the flap, I think. Or did I not? Oh, no, I didn't. But obviously, if you want to put one on the flap, um, go for it. So I'm going to grab my snail. It's just finally come back into stock. Because I swear I go through tons of this stuff. So you want to move the yellow bit get rid of that and then you can put it back in here she says <laughs> honestly oh I was going to show you that wasn't I so that's what it will look like when you've cut all your bits out so it's not that it's not too tricky to make a box oops but I do use my good paper. And because we're in the UK, it is metric and imperial on both sides. So, yay. And I'm not going to be decorating anything on this one. Oh, what you can do, which I would advise, is to round the corners of that. So I'll grab my corner rounder. The corner rounder, because it just helps it go in a bit easier. And this is our gorgeous, is it trio, detailed trio punch? 
think. And it makes them as gorgeous round rounded it. Rounded it. it. And I've lost my tear and tape. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, I have to use snail. Don't use snail, by the way, on cardstock. So I'm putting adhesive on my tab. Um, it's fine for paper to cardstock, but not 3D things, really. Okay, so that's it. And then your back, you're going to fold your sides, your back, and then your front is going to have the adhesive. But again, don't use snail. It's not... So there we go. And to prove it fits, she says, look, snug as a bug. So that's it. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll leave a link for everything in the description. And I will see you later. Bye.